Howdy doody. Mm. Howdy doody. How be it? Day. How was your day? Hello. Actually. Happy Monday. Hi and hello. I'm Joshua. <laughs> I'm Caitlin. And we are reporting live from the Rogue Media Network studios. Live coming to you tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> For real. <laughs> uh, so not live. We are your boo bays. We are your boo bays. We are here to talk about movies. And what kind of movies are we talking about? Horror, spooky, spooky movie, thriller, sci-fi. So many like subgenres and gen- like but ways you can go with that it. That is under the umbrella of horror. horror. Mm. Umbrella. I just watched Resident Evil for the first time. Oh, a f- the, with, over the weekend. The, f- the, the original, first, the first one in Afterlife. Okay. So Umbrella reminds me of like Umbrella oh, Corp or whatever mm-hmm. it's called, right? Yeah. And then that yeah. just reminds me of Umbrella Academy, and then it just reminds me how excited I am for Umbrella Academy season three. Yes, mm-hmm. I have not watched any of those because when it started oh. coming out, I didn't have Netflix, mm-hmm. and then I just was not dedicated to mm-hmm. anything. I feel that I should watch it on a one hundred percent level. I did. Well, okay, I watched like three episodes. I'm not at even dedicated. someone's house, and I was like, "Yeah, I like this." Mm, okay, yeah, I no, like it, this it, a lot. It's really good. I mean, I say, but it's really good. Um, but yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Cheers. Yeah, Hi. Yeah. Hello. Cheers. Hi. Hello. Um, I'm ready to uh, talk about this movie. I'm excited. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. It's a favorite. Of, is it a favorite or just one you really, I really like? like it. You really I, like it. I remember when I first watched it in the theater uh, way back when it was I was like, oh, wow, it was really good. Mm-hmm. Um, mm, yeah, it was like one of those two though. like when I left, though, I was kind of like still processing and like, how do I feel about that? And then in hindsight, I was like, no, yeah, I really liked how it went because of. You know, I mean, you watched it. It's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I feel like in 2000... So, by the way, side note, <laughs> we are talking about... The Cabin in the Woods. Cabin in the Woods. Yes, that's right. 2012. Yes. Um, I feel like if I was to have watched this in 2012, I would not have appreciated it no. as much. Mm-hmm. Um, and I do feel like it took two, like, viewings for me to be like, oh, yeah, this is real good. Okay. Um, I feel that. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot to pick up on. In there, the movie. there is a lot. Yes. And and also too, it's not like any other horror movie. No. Like it's its own little niche of a of of a genre of what well, it is because it's like a it's almost like a what we got in with Scream franchise back in the day, but like a movie that like takes talks about other horror movies and the tropes in mm-hmm. the movies and how things get done in a horror movie. Yeah. Um, with us like being like, it's like breaking the fourth wall. It's like scream meets the Truman show. Mm hmm. Yeah, for sure. But I love, that's really dead. funny. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, overall, no, I just really liked it back then. We're watching it now. There's a lot of things that I didn't even catch back then that I'm like, Oh, I didn't even realize like that had happened or something like the man on the roof that was like, they're yeah. going that way. Like for some reason calling back, I don't really remember that being like, it's a such a, like, yeah, it's such a small little detail, part. but like really in hindsight, it's really driving the whole narrative. Like this whole thing is like set up, set up exactly t- from the beginning yeah. of the movie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause I, just before we even started watching with them, like the whole planning of like, this is his cousin's like place and they're going yeah. and leaving all of them mm-hmm. together. Yeah. <laughs> I love at the end. I don't even think Kurt has a cousin. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> I was wondering. I was like, exactly. damn, what kind of shitty ass cousin is setting them up to be literally murdered? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It was it was a good ride, though. I yeah, I watched it yesterday, got a tad distracted at the end, mm. um, <clears throat> as you do. Sometimes it happens. Yeah, it does. And, you know, it depends on who you're really watching with. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good uh, get you going. And then, anyways, I watched it again this morning because I nice. was like, I have no clue what happens at the end. Yeah. Because, yeah. Yeah. I was Sometimes you got to just. Focusing on other things. Mm-hmm. 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 And that's okay. You mm-hmm. know? I do it all the time. Um, at the water. Um, oh, there we go. So, at the beginning of the movie, if we want to just dig in, I love how it starts already with, like, us going into, like, this office kind of situation or mm-hmm. underground office situation with and then the, even like before the that it gives you like the ritualistic oh, yeah. scenes happening in the blood mm-hmm. so it seems like really like yeah set up like it's gonna be 
something and it's it's brief but yeah. like you're seeing kind of like the sacrifice and like so they're putting it in very subtly there but mm-hmm. then yeah then it cuts to the office it's foreshadowing and so i was like i was like harsh cut to an office what yeah <laughs> and the man's just in there at this the, point did you realize already that like oh i've never i've never seen this before um no because both of those actors are so familiar okay that i was just like Oh, I've seen this before. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I was sitting there thinking. Well, uh, the guy who played H- Hadley or Hartley or what was his name? Hadley. Hadley I think, is, from, the uh, is from Get Out. Yeah, yeah. He's a dad from Get Out. Mm-hmm. And then what was the other one? Stint. St- I don't know. I've got their names written in here somewhere. Um, but yes, they, they're both, they've both been in quite a few things. A lot of movies. And yeah. so at first I was like, huh. But then they started talking about things. And as they like got deeper into it, I was like, Okay, no. Yeah. I have not seen this. Thought I had. I got all the other cabin themed films com- confused in my head. Yeah, I don't blame you. I mean, because this one builds up on the trip of the hor- of the cabin. Mm, theme. The more that like people around me had talked about it, like you and um, you know, Mike, mm-hmm. and then uh, there's another like a listener of the podcast mm-hmm. who this is is his favorite horror film. So the more that like y'all kind of talked about it around me and stuff or to me, I was like, yeah. And then I was like, I, I started really thinking, mm-hmm. maybe I have a not seen <laughs> this movie <laughs> or I'm remembering something entirely different. And then yes, as we got about, like three minutes into the film, I was like, yeah. oh, no, I've never seen this. That is funny. Had no clue. I love that, though, because it's like fresh eyes on yeah. like what's happening. It was fun. Um, and like I said, I'm glad I watched it now as opposed to when I was younger, because I don't think I think I would have just been mm-hmm. like, that was kind of dumb. Like, because mm-hmm. I was kind of dumb. <laughs> or just not maybe have like. I guess it does. Not that it's not a dumb thing but i mean like you you kind of have to appreciate it for the fact of it like it's making fun of yes, in a it's, way it's also and like you know it's borderline of the, satirical yeah and, very much so especially in the way like they have like the cut twos to us seeing them orchestrating everything yeah. and how most of that is all comical like yes. their commentary oh it very mm-hmm. much so is yeah. even their deaths mm-hmm. are common oh comical. it's all so pure comedy especially Hadley's. um and <laughs> you were talking it. about um uh, Citizen is his name. Citizen. He's played by Richard Jenkins, and he's yes. in a lot of things. Yes, he's in the Eat, Pray, Love. I really like that movie. Oh, watched yeah. it a long time ago. I don't know but. if I ever saw that. <laughs> I mean, I, I remember people were shitting their pants about the book, and I was like, Oh, really? I don't even. Sh- I don't want to. I didn't read it, but um, I just want to eat. Mm-hmm. I want to pray oh. or love people. No, just eat. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> good thing. I w- eating is good. Um, and so. Uh, yeah so we start off with the you said the credits and then we're in the office scene and they're talking about um well one they're talking it's like i love how it's just like water cooler talk yeah like it's supposed to look like what they're because we learn what they're doing later is so like this whole big old thing you know Mm -hmm. and like it's like world affecting and they're just having this mundane conversation about his wife like baby proofing the, the house, house before even they don't have a baby a baby has even come he said yeah. she's child he said she got childproof towels I'm like what the fuck does that even yeah, mean yeah literally <laughs> like oh i just don't know mm-hmm. that babies are that's a whole oh that's a whole other thing yeah confusing yeah. Um, but yeah as they're talking they then walk along and the girl comes up and she says that what stockholm has failed mm-hmm. or something like that and yeah. they were like, leave it to the Swedes to mess it up or something. Yeah. And then they said, well, it's just going to be Japan and us. And so at this point, I was like, OK, they've got some sort of There's something, going something on. is yeah. going on, like an event. I was like, I didn't mm-hmm. know exactly what test. I don't know. I was like, I don't know yeah. what's happening. I'm very confused. You're still left in the dark. Yes, I thought this was seeing... going to be in a cabin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, literally. And also, too, it's like it's very office vibes and the movie's marketed as like a horror cabin mm-hmm. movie. So, yeah. And I was just like, what is going on? And then I love how they get into the, they're giving her shit about the chem department, like fucking something up. Cause I guess she works in the chem department. Mm-hmm. There hasn't been a glitch since like 1998 or something like that is what they're talking about. Yeah. And it was their pro- uh, fall or something. Mm. Um, yeah. And then they're just talking about like the betting pool and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're driving their little cart away and it stitter. What's Citizen. Citizen is mm-hmm. not even like listening. And so then yeah. Hadley's like, are you even listening to me? And then it's like, cabin in the woods. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> title card. I loved it. I put LOL at the title card. It um, 
It was I I liked that entrance though. Yeah, it was very abrupt. Really it was a very cheesy. like whoosh, straight cut to you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It reminded me of like a, a few of the scream intros. Yeah, for sure. With that and a lot of like the angles and stuff were very like okay, yeah, we're yeah. playing on some it's things that we've seen before yes. in other horror movies. Yeah. yeah. I, it was entertaining. And I put, yay, cut to generic white girl getting ready in her underwear with all the fucking windows open. I said her coochie out. It really is. Yeah. She's like supposed to be this like goody two shoes. Mm-hmm. And girl's just getting ready no. with her booty white out in the open. Maybe she was just like, it's the second story. Maybe she's, I don't know, but still. And I guess when it's like day light outside, it's a little bit it's, harder to see in. Oh, but you can still see through that. I mean, well, yeah, because the windows were li- literally just open. No blinds, no, sh- veal, what are they called? Curtains. Yeah. And well, one window was very just open because yeah. remember, Kurt threw oh, yeah, some balls through right. it. That's right. So there's no glass to like somewhat. Maybe she's an exhibitionist. Maybe she just likes to be nude. And mm-hmm. have people maybe see or not. And then doesn't like to. You never know. Don't I don't know. know. We don't know. Her situation is. I mean, because we never really is... got no, and we. I don't. I think because and obviously I feel throughout like the movie, it was not consensual. Well, n- no. Well, what Be- do you mean? Because they everyone kept like referring to her as a virgin or something, mm-hmm. and then they were like. And then she goes, what do you mean? Or like, virgin? Yeah. And then the uh-huh. girl, like, uh, Sig- Sigourney, Sigourney Weaver, Weaver at the end is like, well, we worked with what we can get. Yeah. So I'm like, maybe she only did, it was either A, not consensual, because then it seemed like well, he was pretty shitty. I'm assuming it's the professor. Maybe. And then I also think that maybe, like, or maybe they just did, like, oral. I get what you mean. Oh, and I didn't, like, I didn't actually understand that. Penetrated. I never, I didn't get that vibes no i what i got is especially because when you go through later and learning with maybe like through the rest of them it's like because they're trying to make these people fit specific tropes Mm -hmm. but like because like the boyfriend's trope is like he's supposed to be the dumb jock kind of thing which at some point he is sociology but but he's he's smart smart. and he's getting affected by whatever they're doing and like you know what they do to her her Mm -hmm. hair bleach stuff so um, I don't think she ever really was a virgin, but just because she's more of like, I don't want to say like, she's just more reserved with like mm. not being like maybe promiscuous or something, or just like more of like, I'd like to date people more uh, careful yeah, or like, yeah, not just letting yeah, any dick fall even though her. she's dating her professor, but maybe that's a whole other thing, you know, but that's the vibe that I got mm. as, and that's why she was like, well, we work with what we got. Okay. And yeah. That's probably but better. I can see where you're, what you're saying now too. That's a really dark, yeah, dark, <laughs> dark path. Yeah, but I see it. Yeah, or maybe like uh, let's, we can go back. We yeah. can go back to the maybe she just did oral. Yes, <laughs> maybe she did. She still probably could not have liked it. Or maybe she only did anal. Maybe some you people know. only do anal. So yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and seeing people's hands were raised in this room. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> and so um, I do. Mm-hmm. Never mind. At the water, um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're I, I, how's that mimosa tasting right now? It's great. It's good, huh? Um, and so, um, oh yeah, title card. We got all the kids. She was getting ready in her underwear. That's whenever her best friend pops in, and she's um, she's got blonde blonde hair. hair now. You know, and she's looking over, peeking over her shoulder because Dana is lovingly or almost sadly looking at this like mm-hmm. pencil sketched image of a man who yeah. we then find out was her professor her professor and Lu- what's her name jules, jules. Mm-hmm. i jules. said lucy i don't know no, where that came from jules jules though she like rips it out mm-hmm. of her hand and was like we're gonna burn this and then yeah. basically we find out that she's like they're they're going on a trip we find out here mm-hmm. and they're going to somewhere where they can use a bikini and stuff and they're like you're gonna yeah. use this and then they're trying to set her up with holden her f- boyfriend's friend yep yeah mm-hmm. and jules was like if holden is as cute as kurt says he is and stuff maybe you'll even get to take this off blah, mm-hmm. blah, blah. Mm-hmm. and so we kind of get the fact that they're not forcing them into something but they well, are she's encouraging she's really it. egging it on that she like wants her to like get under someone to forget about this person mm-hmm. kind of situation that's you my know? favorite way to get over people mm-hmm. yeah um but i love how holden later on is like well since they sold you to me for marriage 
because yeah. th- they're that not subtle yeah, about trying not. to force they're very them pushy. together. Yes. They're very pushy throughout the whole kind of beginning sequence of uh-huh. the film. Um, and then her boyfriend comes in, which we learn is um, Mr. Chris Hemsworth. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's funny because this movie was filmed in 2009, actually. Oh, really? It was filmed in 2009. It almost didn't see like the light of day, really. Um, and then oh. finally it got picked up That's by sad. like Lionsgate or someone, I think. Lionsgate and then, is who pro- yeah. Yeah, and then... Um, it got filmed in 2009 and didn't get released till 2012. Oh, wow. So by then, like, he hadn't even filmed, like, Thor yet. But Thor, he, it got filmed and put out before this movie even got oh, put wow. out the year before. Yeah. That's crazy. So, mm-hmm. That's why he looks, like, not as built as, like, his Thor days, even though this Was came out at the same after time. Thor. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Interesting. That mm-hmm. makes sense. Mm-hmm. I didn't. I mean, to me, he just looks pretty built regardless. So I was like. Yep, that's a hunky hunk hunk. That's Thor. That's that's, that's my Thor. Avenger. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and so yeah, he's coming in there and talking to them, and that's uh, whenever we find out that he's not as dumb as he might look, or you would think he is, because he's supposed to be a jock, because he's like talking about the book or something to hurt him, whatever, to her recommend her professor or something like yeah. that. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it says it'll make you look more insightful if you read this one because he doesn't have this entire book memorized or slash have all of it in his lecture yeah so this one will give you a um like an edge up yeah but then it's like why are you i'm assuming it was the same professor yeah probably so and it's funny too because at that point i think whatever what what is it she the girlfriend is like talking to kurt you right what is he she they're saying something about the book and she's like i learned it from you and then like the way she runs out it's so (laughs) comical it was because it was like she was like it, it was almost like a father, like, talking to his daughter or something. Taunting, in that. yeah. And then being like, where did you learn this? And they're like, I learned it from you and kind of thing. And so it was, it was very entertaining. And clearly they mm-hmm. were both joking. Yeah. You could see Jules smiling as she runs off. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, it was it was very funny. I loved that scene. It was so funny. I, I was, loved it. I was laughing. Um, um, and then after that, we have them kind of coming out. So, oh, no. What's his face? Did he throw the ball, football through the window at that point already? Yeah. So that was how he entered mm-hmm. was he goes, think fast. And he throws the ball out. Holden, and then yeah. Holden conveniently catches it outside the window mm-hmm. at the base of it. And then they go through this whole that whole scene, basically everything. And then <laughs> at the end, like, and Kurt's recommending this other book for her. And he goes, and you have no pants. And then she's like, oh, my God. Literally. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. <laughs> and yes, then it cuts to them going downstairs and loading. Mm-hmm. And then up rolls Marty. With Marty his, in his car. And he's got his bong. And it in the looks car. like a thermos. It does. Yeah. It, he like <laughs> um, packs it down into a thermos, which it's, is pretty nifty. It is. That's pretty cool. It's, <laughs> it's giant. And it comes in handy later. Yeah. This pot literally almost saves his life. Oh, it really does. Mm-hmm. For mo- well, because he does end up dying, so you're right. Almost saves his life, but for the most part, does. <laughs> um, but so does the whole up world. Until a certain point. So, spoiler alert. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, and it's the way that I guess they almost too like. What was it when he was coming up though? Like they weren't expecting him to come, right? Oh, they weren't. That's what a vibe that I the vibe oh, that I got. I thought they least. were just uh, upset that he rolled up smoking. Um, that's a, right. A bong. The bong. Yeah. And they were like, "Do you want us to go to jail?" Yeah. And he was like, "You're not going to bring that stuff." And then whatever that. And he was like, "I am." But then it's called. And then he 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 says they will not pull you know a guy with a giant bong over because they're afraid of him and they're afraid that he will bind them with ancient tactics. And I was like, he's low key on this already. For real though. He already is like. They haven't even, the show hasn't even started. Mm-hmm. And he has called it. Literally. Marty's on it from the get. It's the foreshadowing. And while he's sarcastic a little bit at first with it, mm-hmm. he then slowly becomes like, nah, I'm fucking right. Oh, yeah. And no one takes him seriously, of Because course. they're all under the influence of all the effects that is being, you know, they're being orchestrated and puppeteered, as, you know, he says. Later in the in the evening when they get to the cabin. Mm-hmm. But then um, it they roll off, and yeah. we get dude sitting on top of the house. Oh yeah, that's right. And he's up there, and he's like, "They're off." The nest is empty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Basically, that's what he says, right? Yeah. yeah. The nest is empty. Um, and it's the way that I hadn't really realized or remembered that part from before, but it was really like I was like, "Oh shit, yeah!" Like this is literally set up all the way from the beginning. Yeah. From the get go. I yeah. wouldn't like. I feel like if I was um, I, if I hadn't seen this mm-hmm. film in a couple years, I would not remember that scene mm. at all. 
mm-hmm. because it is it's it's so short. But yes, when you think of it and when you're having to look it at it. It adds to it. Through, yes. The and depth. Mm-hmm. When we're having to be like analytical about it, mm-hmm. I feel like it makes you pick up on those key things a little bit more too. Yeah. And like you're right, it does. That they've literally this thing is so well thought out. Mm-hmm. It's just so smart. And it's their everyday kind of life. It's what they work towards, I guess, each Yearly. year. It's like yeah. Christmas for yeah. them. <laughs> uh, it's like this is the big event. It's the their one we've one been day preparing all day, yeah. all year for. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's wild. Yeah. And so uh, they're off and uh, they're heading to the the cabin. Kurt's cabin. That's supposed to be his cousin's cabin or something like the that. The Buckner house. And, Buckner um, place. That's whenever they get, they stop at that one place to get gas. Yeah. And before this, they're saying like the road doesn't even show up on GPS. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. Like <laughs> They said it's not even s- worthy of like being globally mapped or whatever. Yeah. And th- this is where marty goes off about saying like get off the grid people are too scared in society oh to, that's like, right mm-hmm. let go of all these things and because society would everything. unravel if mm-hmm. we did and um he says oh yeah society it's binding and he says this is the one weekend where he won't be globally positioned and i was like hmm mm-hmm. this is the one we can wear literally you your every really move is being all watched. Of it, the irony of it all. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's wild. But then, yes, they're walking up and, uh, oh, I guess it goes back to this is, it cuts to the, the, to the people in people. The, mm-hmm. Yeah. And this is where Citizen and Hadley, this is where I wrote down are the main control dudes. And they're talking to whatever his face is. Oh, man. Yeah. 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 He's so the security guard, the, room, the safety, yeah. the safety guy. And there, I just like that Hadley goes, you can call him Sitter. Like, no need his for formality. It's Truman, right? It's Truman. Yes, mm-hmm. Truman. And um, it's the way I actually suspected him of, um, like, sabotaging things. Oh, okay. Yeah, I could see that. At one point. Because his character seemed very apprehensive to everything uh-huh. that was going on. And so at yeah. first I thought he had, before I knew it was Marty pulling the strings, mm-hmm. like, with the demolition mm-hmm. kind of messing up and stuff, yeah. I, I thought it was him. Mm. Um Anyways, but I thought it was funny how Hadley was like, or you can refer to Sitterson as Honey Toes. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Weird. <laughs> I love Hadley's character the whole time. Yes, they're very Provides funny. All the, like, just when you need it kind of comedy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, but then, yes, now we're pulling up to the the gas station. Gas station, yeah. I put, what in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is literally, this? Literally, <laughs> yeah. That guy was actually in Texas Chainsaw Massacre, too. Oh. Funny. That's funny thing I of can it all. see that. Yeah. Um, and so... They stop at the gas station and it's the way that it's giving off all the signs of what a, you know, wrong turn kind of movie, Mm -hmm. Texas Chainsaw, Um, everything that's supposed to tell you to turn around, leave, don't go. Um, And they see this dude um, and he's, I forget what his name is, Uh, um, but they call him the Harbinger or something like that. Yeah, and Hadley calls him Mordecai. Mordecai. Which I don't know if that's like a code name or what, but. I think it's just the actor's name or something, but. Um, of course, he comes out and he's like, what is that stuff? Like, chew tobacco? He has oh, in his yeah, mouth. It's like um, spit in. What, what um, is that? It's called something. Isn't it called like spit? No. No, it's um, something like that, though. Oh, that nasty stuff that gives you like tongue cancer. Yeah, yeah. What is that? But anyways, it's the way he's like just painting a picture. He's very rough looking and he's coming out there and he's like, seems very aggressive and like kind of like, what are y'all doing out here? Mm-hmm. Of course, like every other movie. Um, and then does proceed proceed to like fill their gas tank up. Yes, he does. Like as he's yeah. telling them, like, oh yes, you'll go down to the Buckner place. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a lot of people uh, try to go in and out of there or something like that, mm-hmm. or try to. They always trying to sell that place or something. Yeah, like that. the, the mm-hmm. land is often up in the air and mm-hmm. stuff like that, and changes hands quite frequently. Yeah. Um, what is that stuff called? It's gonna bother you now. Huh? It is. Tobacco. Dip. Dip. That's Dip. it. It just yeah. Came to it me. looks like weird, yeah. really chewed on beef jerky. Yeah, I always think it looks like really dried out, like little apricots or something like um, that, or like too. the peach pits. Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. I guess I don't ever look at it too much. Yeah, it's um, disgusting. I uh, side note used to like when I was younger. Um, Dip. No, I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> no. Josh. <laughs> Whenever I was really young, I was probably like I don't know. I had to okay, so not even that young. I had to been like really like nine, seven, eight, or nine. Yeah, seven, eight, or nine. And seven, eight, nine. 
Yeah, and I would go over to the neighbor's house, and they were kind of like my pretend grandparents because I didn't really have any grandparents that were here. Mm. And I like would legit call them grandma, grandpa, but they were not my real grandparents. Um, um, and so like I would go there all the time, but the my grandpa, um, he would do that all the time. So that's how I knew about it. Like, uh. That's how I knew about it from a really young age. I was like, what's that stuff? So that's why like every time I look at it, I was like, Grandpa? <laughs> grossed out, but fascinated. I like how like I was like that looks really gross, yeah, and then they just spit it out. It's, mm, yeah, it's nasty. So gross. Um, but yeah, Mordecai is kind of basically giving them this kind of like if you know, dooming them. Yeah, you know? he's being creepy. Mm-hmm. He's basically like, and as Hadley will say later, or I guess Sitterson says, we basically put a man out there with a sign that's like, yeah. turn around, you will die. Yeah. And it they, is they, their they choice had to ignore it, and mm-hmm. and in that way, then it's if, like, all free they ha- will. They have to transgress point. for them to be able to make all this happen. Yeah, yeah. And so basically, I mean, he's being off-putting as all get out, and being quite frankly a dick. Man mm. is being fucking rude as hell. He quite openly refers to Jules as the whore. Yeah, which is what we find out later. She is pinned Supposed as. To be, yeah, and even though she's pre-med. And stuff mm-hmm. like so. Again, she's not this dumb, blit, blonde bimbo. Thank, sorry to no. everyone who's blonde out there. <laughs> You're not dumb. It's a stereotype. It's a stereotype. Yeah. Um, but they like pinned her as that, you know. Yeah. And he quite like just very blatantly says that to her face. And of course, Kurt at that point gets kind of like upset. And yeah. then Marty starts sassing the hell out of him. Well, he already was. Always. I was <laughs> like, like Marty's sassing me, boy. <laughs> Marty's the sass throughout the whole movie. I loved it. Yeah. And then at the end when he's just like, yeah, you were rude to my friends, fucker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I was like, I like you, Marty. Nice one, Marty. At first your character was a little like, okay, you're, mm-hmm. you're really leaning into this stoner fact. Yeah. Uh, but then very at shaggy. this point I was like, okay, no, I do like you. But yes, very shaggy. Mm-hmm. I it's the way they, they, they do all give me the the mystery ganging mm. kind of vibes ish. Oh yeah. There's even a van. Um we're just missing Scooby. Scooby. Um but yeah, no, so they, they leave there and they're going to the cabin and it's the way that that dude then like well, phones in. Technically, Holden could be Scooby, even though he's not a scholar. But I guess maybe Dana and Holden combined would be Velma. Velma's very innocent. Yeah. And he's like the smarts. The smarts. Combine yeah. them together and you get that character. Yeah. Yeah. And then no Scooby. The wolf on the wall was Scooby. There you go. And he oh, made out with Daphne. He did. Um, and so okay. they, they leave there and that's whenever that dude Mordecai calls in to the people, right? And he's, uh yeah, we also before that get to see that as they're driving Oh man, the bird. That fucking drop off there is terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, they're driving through that little tunnel and then this little hawk's going, Wee ah Gallop ah. like so like <laughs> gracefully through the air and then it just bam <laughs> right into some electrical force, force field, field that we see that's like looks like them bug mm-hmm. zapper things very much that yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah and it's uh basically separating the other side from this side mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and that's see them go through that tunnel and come through the other side the first i guess indication that we really get that this is a controlled experiment yeah um because at first like, i wasn't expecting that yeah, I was, it's, it's kind of like the title card. It's very like, boom, yeah. it just happens really fast. I was just like, oh, la-di-da, they're just driving through a tunnel. Uh-huh. I was expecting them to pop out the other end. <laughs> and then <laughs> this you bird, get like, Yeah, it's almost like with that thing back in the day. I think I was like sixth grade whenever I first saw the car going through the tr- the like mountains. And then at the end of like a minute and a half, it's like this zombie that pops out and scares oh. everybody. Yeah, oh. You know what I'm talking about? No. <gasps> really? You didn't play that as a kid? Or not play it, but like got pranked by it no yeah uh-huh. my teacher my sixth grade teacher did it to us they That's like really the teachers rude. were sending it to each other <laughs> i think in like an email and then he like got turned off the lights made us all go around the computer and he's like a click play and we're all watching it and then had he seen it yeah or, okay and so i was like oh and then it goes through bad. and then like the little face pops out and we all like freaked out mm-hmm. it was so funny i love that yeah but yes very much mm-hmm. like that um but yes then they get to the actual cabin, and it looks so small mm-hmm. from the outside. Yeah, that first yeah. initial shot, I was like, "It's very, very reminiscent tiny. of the cabin from the uh, Evil Dead, mm-hmm. which is what they were going for." Yeah, uh, but yeah, 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 it is a little small looking, isn't it? Yeah, but on the inside, it doesn't it's look not, that small. It's very, I guess, um, long. Long. Yeah, as I was to trying wide. to like look at the back. Yeah, but, but that angle, I guess, it was low enough that you couldn't really see how 
far it went. Mm -hmm. Um, But yes, then the angle as Dana is approaching is also hilarious. Like as she's going up Mm -hmm. the steps, it's very just, it's so, it's on a diagonal. Yeah. And I loved it. I was like, LOL. Good stylistic choice. Mm -hmm. Um, And so, yeah, we have all of that happening. They're going into the cabin. um, Talking about killing a raccoon to eat. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Poor raccoon. Poor coonie. Um, and then remind me what's happening next. They're um, so they're choosing their rooms, and basically, mm-hmm. uh, whenever in. he find he goes into the room and he doesn't like that painting on the wall. Yeah, because it's a fucking creepy mm-hmm. ass painting. Yeah. of them like of some people gutting this lamb thing. Yeah, like a, a ram. I don't know it's some like sort of bad juju written yeah, all over it. It was very gruesome. Yeah. So of course he like goes to take it down, and then he's met with like first off we get the little like almost jump scare of. Dana standing mm-hmm. there with her face, yeah. yeah. And then he sees her, and he's like, Gah! "Yeah." <laughs> and then he realizes that it's a two-way mirror. Yeah, and so she can't see him. Which really shouldn't it just be a one-way mirror? One-way mirror. Yeah, that's why I didn't. I was like, I put interrogation mirror as mm-hmm. Marty mm-hmm. lovingly calls it later mm-hmm. because I was like, I don't remember which way this is. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> oh yeah, because he made that comment of like, uh. Pi- the pioneer days they had to make their own interrogation and i'm like why were they interrogating why would they (laughs) need that okay i Um, guess they're out here um, whatever these lawless lawless pioneer streets having to bring justice in their own homes (laughs) um and so yeah there he sees her on the other side and it's the way that she's about to get undressed and he's like fighting the urge to like really just watch her do it yeah and i was like bro 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 don't be a creep come on i was like do not do that and then he (laughs) Finally, is like okay, wait, no, and that's like. But then the he right steps thing. back for a second. And he's like, mm. mm-hmm. and then I'm like, okay, yeah, thank goodness he stops her. Yeah, and I was like, good for you, bud. Yeah. But he did. <laughs> then it brings it to the attention of everyone else. Yeah, uh-huh. and then Dana and him switch rooms because he says, yeah, I feel like you'd be more comfortable, uh, and that was the right call. Um, but then it's very gentleman. Yes, and as but as they're switching, he said. Because she says, thank you for being, you know, a gentleman about this and not. (laughs) Um, But he says, now, don't worry. I did have a very strong internal debate. He said, there's a lot of shouting, fighting, blood spilled on both sides. Yeah. And she says, you're bleeding internally. And he goes, quite badly. And like, he's trying to be smooth, like like bleeding heart kind of thing. And and then she's like, well, Jules is a pre-med major. You should talk to her. I was like, girl. Shut down. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. She really, she shot him down hard. Yeah. (laughs) And I think it's also too. I think she's got, you know still going through the whole thing of like having feelings for her professor and going through all that and yeah. the, whatever. I guess he's not you know reciprocating the feelings back anymore or something. So yeah, because later on, um, I don't know. I feel like they do start to vibe yes. a lot more. Oh, yeah, definitely. Most, mm-hmm. They do. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. Well, I mean, then when she gets back into her room. Homeboy knows starts, exactly what he's doing. Oh yeah, he immediately starts taking off his clothes. Uh huh. And she's like. Having the same kind of moment because yeah. homeboy built AF, yeah. and then he was about to take he was about to take his pants off, mm-hmm. and she was like, "Oh, okay, no, no, no," and hangs back up the picture, and then was like, "Oh no," to the picture, yeah, and hangs up that little sheet over it, and that's where we get the first sight of all of them on camera. Oh yeah, that's right, and that they're From actually the being watched. Mm-hmm. Yep, I was like, "Okay, okay," they're all on camera. Cool. And they talk about slowing down the cognition via hair dye for mm-hmm. for that one girl for Jules. For Jules That's yeah. how they were getting her to act more like the dumb blonde kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, because clearly, again, she's not dumb. Mm-hmm. So um, and they've talked about them changing the rooms and stuff. But this is where Mordecai adjust. calls. Yeah. Oh yes, yeah. They said we have a room change. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But Mordecai <laughs> calls them Mordecai calls. and is like. Uh, cleanse the world of whatever, whatever, all that shit. His he's being so cryptic. <laughs> yeah. And it's the way he's had some on speakerphone. Yeah. And they all start. He's, he's like, like, am, am I on speakerphone? speakerphone? <laughs> I can hear the echo. Take me off speakerphone. And he's like, okay. And he goes back. And then they're all snickering. And he's like, I'm still on speakerphone. It's so funny the like switch that he's making. And I'm like, why? It's like he's super into this. Yeah. Well, he believes this role. Mm-hmm. I feel like. Well, it's also ironic. I mean, it is real, and it, it is also ironic though because they're they they have him as like supposed to be the heaving of warning to the kids that that they ignore, and mm-hmm. he's warning them about these like 
this whole Saying situation. the fool has already almost derailed it. Yeah, literally. And they're like, it's going to be okay. It's whatever. Yeah. He's telling them. Yeah. He's trying to warn them. So it's but funny they that they're, they're funny. They're, yeah, they're literally doing the same thing. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, and then it cuts to them running really fast to the lake. And so Dana and Holden jump in first. And <laughs> I love the way that Kurt then comes up and he's like, whoa. There's something in the water. And they're like, what? And even I was scared. I was like, oh, no, what is in the uh, water? Yeah. I was like, is there a Loch Ness Literally. monster <laughs> in this random lake? I was ready. I yeah. thought something was actually going to At this point, because you, you don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't. And But then he was like, it looks like my girlfriend, and pushes mm-hmm. her in, which I would be livid Aww. if yeah. my boyfriend did that to me. He wouldn't. He wouldn't me. be alive. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, because be. you asked for consent to be pushed into a pool. That's you right. You not just push people into a pool. It's that's right. Nice. What if I had my phone in my bikini? Oh, yeah, that's I wouldn't true. be wearing a bikini. But, but what if true. I did? What if you did have your phone in general or anything? Or just like people don't like being pushed into water. Yeah. There's I need too. to. I need to be immersed on my own free will. Mm-hmm. Free will. Yeah. That's what this movie's about. Free willy. Drinks to free will. Clink. Yes. Clink. Plastic. Wait, do it again. Love it. It's like a <laughs> clap. <laughs> Um, and so, yeah, they're doing their little, uh, swim and that's whenever the, they're, then the people in the office start betting, right? They're having their betting pool. Mm-hmm. I do. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I do like Kurt how then goes and he goes, there's something else in the lake. And he goes, it's a gorgeous man. <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty full of himself a little he bit. Was, it was funny. I was like, well, you're not wrong, sir. You're mm-hmm. not wrong. But yes, then they're betting. And I was like, okay, I guess they're betting on some sort of scenarios. I didn't really know what was happening. What was happening yeah. yet. I was like, okay, okay, uh huh. Mm-hmm. And watching it for the first time, you're like, what is happening? I get that. Yes, I was yeah. very confused. I remember the first time I watched it because I did leave that movie how I said it. I was like a little confused. I'm like, how should I feel about this? Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, I like it. Yeah. Yeah, watching it definitely. I'm glad that I watched it mm-hmm. again this morning because yes, otherwise I would have been like, what? Yeah, I feel that. And that was actually I only took notes this morning. Mm-hmm. So I I had fully intended even when I had started it yesterday to watch it again. Because I bought it. I bought it on Amazon Prime. Oh, really? Yeah, because okay. it was only four ninety nine. It was yeah. like rent for, for $1.99 mm-hmm. or buy for I, 4 I rented it, yeah. And I was like, well, I imagine I'll probably want to watch this again. Mm-hmm. Everyone talks so highly of it. And so I bought it. Yeah. And I probably will watch it again. Um. Anyways, but yes, this is where we're getting to the conversation of their own free will thing that we were talking about earlier. And how they have to choose to ignore oh, yeah. the creepy gas station mm-hmm. dude and then proceed with how shady everything else is. Yeah. Everything else is like, the. Ca- I mean, you roll up the cabin alone looks terrifying. Literally. It looks like something straight out of a horror film. Yeah. So, it, so it's like kind of orchestrated and they, they meddle as much as what they can is what they're saying. But still, they have to really like make their own choices mm-hmm. and like choosing how things go because Truman for, in asked order for it to work how <laughs> how can they bet on something that is fixed and yeah. they say well to an extent it's fixed but we have to guide them mm-hmm. and they have to make the choices to ignore him they have to go into the cellar and they have to pick up the different things and then they act on demise. those things yeah. yes and so they're betting on how they were going to end up dying mm-hmm. is essentially what it is um, but yes, and then <laughs> then it cuts back to them. They've started turning on music. They're dancing, and then yes. the control men are dancing. Mm-hmm. And then <laughs> Their it's little dance is so funny. They're releasing le- pheromones into the air um, to make the libidos go up, so that yeah. way you know they start acting a little bit more raunchy. And they're playing truth and dare. Mm-hmm. And so whenever we have Jules start kissing the wolf, even though Marty was like kissed that moose on the wall, yeah, they're like, that and they're is like, a fucking that's wolf. That's a wolf. <laughs> Um, and yeah, she's He's really like, uh, playing it up there. She is. That whole scene is amazing. Uh-huh. Yeah. The moment like that it steps off and it cuts to her like sexy walking or whatever that is. Um, mm-hmm. But I, 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 I loved it. Do you and not think she should have been wearing heels? Granted, I know she's yes. in a cabin in the woods, but like it would have been like perfect. But I mean, I feel like the way she was walking almost emulated as mm-hmm. if she were wearing heels. Like her, her heels were up. She was on her toes. Mm-hmm. And so I feel like she was giving that vibe. And just the whole scene, the dedication she was to and act so like that out, kissing. I would be so embarrassed. Yeah. I could never <laughs> act that out. Yeah. And then I could also never make out with a. And that was a prop, like fake wolf. Uh-huh. Like it wasn't because they didn't use a real, like they didn't have like a real wolf head mm-hmm. uh, for like, you know, like animal versus. Taxidermy. Not to, yeah, not to have like an actual wolf. 
cum and the tongue was fake it was made and they put like powdered sugar on it so it oh, would taste like that sweet made it good mm-hmm. okay yeah. yeah the way that the tongue moves in the mouth is yeah. disgusting to me <laughs> when i see it like moving i was like <laughs> it's a little a little awkward watching your kids it so yeah it's it like, is gives me a little bestiality vibes uh-huh. and i'm like uh but yeah Mm-hmm. I would immediately go brush. I put you, 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 you the tongue is moving. <laughs> Literally, because you don't know how long that's been there. That's yeah. like gross. It's dirty. Yeah, and I said I would immediately go brush my teeth. She just bows and yeah. goes back to Kurt. I'm like, oh, thank you. And yeah. then I wondered, I was like, I wonder if that could have been some sort of way because the werewolf was an option. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I wonder if that could have been oh, one of the true. ways. Maybe but maybe. I don't know because it wasn't in the cellar. So Yeah. Um, and it's the way that there are certain things that happen, like, throughout the movie, like, that basement, like, where it's, like, you know, like, what happened to the family, you mm-hmm. know, kind of thing. Like, if they would have chose something else, like, how does that work? You know what I mean? Yeah. How does that tie like, into the Like, if they line? got into, well, I imagine if it was a merman that they would somehow then have to get forced outside. To the lake yeah. kind of situation. And then then that would occur almost strictly out there. Mm -hmm. And then if it was a giant anaconda, well, all bets are off. Like (laughs) there's so many things I would shoot myself, but, um, (laughs) (laughs) literally I would just take it out. Um, and so we have then, um, I lost my The cellar door just casually flying open. While they're playing the truth of dare. And And it's the way that Kurt is like, oh, the wind must have pushed it open. And Marty goes, that makes what kind of sense? Because it doesn't. (laughs) Because it doesn't. At all. Um, I was like, thank you, Marty, for being the only smart one. And now a word from our sponsors. And so he's getting really influenced by already the like p- chemical stuff that they're putting in the air because it's making him make dumb decisions and he's yeah. supposed to be the smart guy. Yeah. Um, because and clearly, s- yeah, that would never be something uh-huh. that he would actually say. And then Jules dares freaking um, what's the main girl's name? Dana. Dana mm-hmm. to go down to this into the cellar. And she fucking walks all the way down the mm-hmm. stairs with the flashlight off. Mm-hmm. Andrew, and I, we were watching it, and he he goes. Why, would you Why do doesn't that? she even have a flashlight? And I was like, she has a flashlight. It's in her fucking hand. It's just not on. Yeah. She doesn't have it on. Why would you wait to turn it on to get to the bottom of the stairs? Step and like it's you could fall in like what if there was a broken piece of wood or something yeah, exactly. or a nail like in the quiet place? Like, like yeah. you know? Mm-hmm. For real. Ugh. So many things. But mm-hmm. then as we get down there, I put, oh, it's just my house. Nothing to be scared about. <laughs> a lot of old like dolls, dolls and knickknacks <laughs> and, and weird things. antique looking things. I was yeah. like, well, uh, right at home. Very much so. I was like, oh. You could pick up an item in your house. and it I could. I was like, somehow. I'd go antiquing there. Oh. Um, oh, that too. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they're down there and then they all come down because she screams at seeing something. I don't she remember. She sees the portrait of Patience on the oh, wall. That's and right. it high key looks like her. Mm-hmm. They look very similar. Yeah. And I don't, that obviously doesn't pay met, yeah. any like tribute to the film at all. Like, or it doesn't have any relevance, but um, mm-hmm. they did look rather similar. And so I was like, hmm. Anyways, but yes. And so <laughs> they all come down there though. And this is where Marty's like, I, I dare you to all go upstairs. Like, come on, guys, let's get the fuck out of here. It's yeah. creepy. And they're not listening. Everyone's slowly getting absorbed in these By different all the objects and artifacts. Things, the, yeah. Like little music box, the uh, Hellraiser looking like ball, puzzle ball. Yeah. I put Which was like, really cool looking. Oh, and then, of course, Kurt had also, right before that, had picked up the conch mm-hmm. and was about to blow on it. And then he the sees merman. the little, I put med- <laughs> medieval Rubik's Cube. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, later on, I call him. I said, whenever we see him in the basement, I was like, this looks like a Walmart pinhead. Oh yeah, like, <laughs> great value. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. the Hill County Farms less of Pinhead, but yes, um, it's the way that um, they all stop because then at one point Dana is like, "You guys look at this." She finds that diary mm-hmm. and she starts reading about it, and it's about the family that lived there um, and how backwards it is. And there's at one point she says. <laughs> He got a husband's boner or husband's, husband's bulge, bulge. Yeah. from like the pain that he inflicted on everyone else or something like yeah, that. Yeah, he said like um took her into the like took someone into the black room 
And I was like, they're into some intense shit. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and then it says, cutting the flesh gives him a husband's bulge. And at this point, I looked over and said, I'll give you a husband's bulge. (laughs) (laughs) And that's why we got distracted. (laughs) Um, And so, yeah, they... She ends up reading more, and there's Latin in there, and it's the way that Marty's like, please do not read the Latin. I'm drawing a fucking line in the sand with the Latin. Do not read it. And there's that voice that's like whispers, read it, read it. And it's the way, because he's um, that weed, I guess, to his own stash that he's smoking, it's like keeping him from being influenced from all the chemicals and stuff. I feel like they heard it, but... They don't see it as like, oh, that's an outside voice. That's probably just like thinking that's, it's in their head. Yeah. Yeah. And he's like, what the fuck? He's like, someone literally just talked out loud. Yeah. And it's like, read it out loud. Mm-hmm. I loved it. I mean, it's so funny to me. He's like, read it's it out hilarious. Out. And, then, and then I love um, his interaction does, with yes. the disembodied voice every time. It's yes. Like, this is amazing. Even later on when he's like, take a walk outside. <laughs> and then he's like, I think I'll take a walk take outside. A walk. <laughs> he <is> literally. <laughs> like, Marty! You're questioning it. You oh almost won. Her earlier, when she's talking about something, he's like, Pop-Tarts? Oh, yeah. He was saying that the puppeteers. Mm-hmm. And she goes, Puppeteers? And he goes, Pop-Tarts? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. That was funny. Um, oh, no, I want Pop-Tarts. Me too. Ugh. Wait, three, two, one. What's your favorite flavor? Uh, brown strawberry. sugar cinnamon. I thought it would be strawberry for some reason. I really I do know. like strawberry, too. Oh, okay. That's brown sugar cinnamon? One. Yeah. My favorite is blueberry, so. Mm. Strawberry mm. Strawberry is my second fave, mm. if I had to choose. But I really like, I'm a little bitch for the brown sugar cinnamon mm. ones. And if oh, you I like know which one you're talking about. cook them mm-hmm. in a pan, like with some butter, and what? then you put ice cream and stuff on top of it, it's really good. What? I don't know. Some witchcraft my mother did when I was a child. So you would <laughs> put a Pop Tart on the stove in a pan with butter, mm-hmm. like butter first, right? Yeah. Put the Pop Tart. Yeah, you cook it mm-hmm. with the little butter so it browns and it soaks up all the butter. You put it on a plate. Yeah. And then you put ice cream on top. Mm. Anything else? Oh, like chocolate sauce, whipped cream. Okay, sprinkles if you yeah. had it, like a little like cherry. Like ice cream sundae, Ooh, but with Pop-Tart. I like that. I'm That's really good. That you time. should. It's mm. good. I'm going to go to HB right after this. <laughs> and buy it all. We're cooking tonight. Um, And so, yeah. The la, 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 la. We've they got read out the Latin, the Reading though. out the Latin, of course. And, and a, The Buckners have the won. The curse starts, and yep. the Buckners are being re- um, animated. Hands coming through the They're coming ground. through the ground. They are zombies, and they're ready to torture all of our um, uh, main, characters. main characters. And so, at that point, that's whenever they're um, saying who the winners of the pool are. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> they said oh, it goes to maintenance and whatever face is the intern. And he's like, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And then the other girl comes up and she said, "That's not fair. I had zombies too." And they goes. This is entirely different species. Yeah. You had zombies. This is zombie redneck torture family. Yeah. That's like saying an elephant and then an elephant, elephant seal. seal. <laughs> yeah. And, and also it's playing on like how there's so many subgenres in like horror. Like it could be zombies, but then there's zombies that are like there's the fast zombies. There's slow zombies. There's zombies that like are, are like walking dead zombies or, you know. Ones that can think and are yeah. so like uh, mm, or, warm bodies mm-hmm. kind of zombies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's right? so many, so many, called? yeah, warm bodies. Okay. Yeah. The, like, rom, ro, rom-com yeah. zombie movie. Yeah. I love that one. Mm-hmm. It's so cute. Um, and so that's all happening um, and behind the scenes. And talking to Truman, mm-hmm. saying that he's like, is this not, or he's saying this is something like, um, this is stuff of nightmares. And she goes, no, this is something nightmares are from. Yeah. And she says, everything in their stable is from the old world. And so at this point, I was like, Stable. What mm-hmm. you mean? Yeah. What you talking about Suspicious. there? Suspicious. Yeah. But it's all from the old world and their gifts from like the old gods who are just basically wanting us to use them to bring them souls or mm-hmm. blood or spill blood for them in order to keep them sacrifices sac- appeased. appeased, you know, for our lives, basically. And then we get, um, oh, well, but then it pans over some of the other still active scenes. Well, I guess only at this point it's Japan, it's Japan is the only yeah. one left. And of course Japan was a c- fucking creepy, like long haired mm-hmm. ghost girl in a classroom. And yeah, a very bunch like of the little, grudge vibes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was just like, of course. And I, I love, I love that part at the end anyways. But anyway. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then it cuts back to Jules <laughs> dancing very erotically. Mm-hmm. Um, and at this point her and Kurt are both acting pretty wildly out of character. Yeah. And and what's his name is picking up on it? Uh, uh, Marty. Marty. Okay, wait, no. So the Pop-Tarts puppeteers happens here. Mm. That's it. 
Mm-hmm. So we, we jumped the gun there. No, I just mentioned Pop-Tarts, oh. just to mention the Pop-Tarts. I totally thought it happened already. No, <laughs> sorry. No, I just mentioned that. But, it de- yeah. Um, but, yeah, so they're dancing and stuff. And then, basically, they are – Jules and Kurt decide to go outside to go um, – mm-hmm. Make fuck. some fornication mm-hmm. happen. Um, and it's the way that they go out there. Of course, you'd never go Calls outside into the woods. Hold it, an egg Bad bed, idea. Yeah. Alpha male bullshit. And then they well, yeah, because this at this point, Marty Holden is like falling into the whole like the like brain type of character because he's got glasses on now and he's like trying to study the Latin. Yeah. And that's how going on. Marty removes himself. He says, "I'm gonna go read a book with a lot of pictures." Yeah. And then yeah, it flashes to Holden like casually reading Latin. He's got glasses and stuff, and so I'm like, "Where'd the mm-hmm. glasses come from?" Um, he's the scholar. Mm-hmm. And so they go outside. They're going to go oak. And, I don't know um, if I'd want to have sex on like I, twigs. I don't either. Like why? That they sounds. They like a blanket or anything. Yeah. I'm like, if, it, if I had a blanket, but Maybe. otherwise a rogue stick could go mm-hmm. into Kuhha. one of my Orphesis. many holes. And so any hole is a goal. And so um, <laughs> they are in the woods and they are. <laughs> I just imagine Quidditch then too. <laughs> <laughs> He got, he's got the, the golden snitch. The golden snitch. Um, <laughs> that's, a, that's a bludger, yeah. Um, <laughs> what did you call me? And so then um, they're outside. They're running from the – well, not running yet. They're – basically, Kurt is really, like, being pushy and trying to get her, like, you know, give her, give up the goods. Mm-hmm. And she's like, no, let's go back inside. And then it's too she's dark like, out I'm here chilly. and chilly. And then they're, like, manipulating the scenery and, like, making it really, like, romantic with moonlight. Upping the temperature, mm-hmm. dispensing pheromones. pheromones. And then, yes, they have Finally a get to, like, nice this little, little sliver of moonlight that shines upon a perfectly mossy patch of grass. Mm-hmm. Which I was like, okay, I guess. Maybe but then there. even moss is still, like, I don't It's very, like, that. can you feel the love tonight, Lion King? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Definitely. And so they're there. They start getting a little frisky. And yep. as soon as things start getting a little hot, uh, oh, we, we do get some titties, which we is do. important. We do. some good titties. Yeah, we because get some Because they were boobays. saying we got to keep the customer satisfied, too, mm-hmm. which I was like, who's the customer? The At this gods? point, then I was like, yeah. is this... I uh-huh. was like, is this... I think it's just Squid giving Games more... I think thing? it's also giving, like, also more so of, like, why horror movies are supposed to have, like... It's, boobs like mm. we see a lot of boobs in horror movies yeah, like this do. is the way we're supposed to do it so yeah. it's like the gods i feel like it's the way that like things have to happen in a certain manner like the way that they say later on like first the whore has to die then then, the, the, then the, like the chalk and then the other two it doesn't matter how they die but the last one has to be the very like there's and a her whole, death is optional and there's a whole mm-hmm. kind of hierarchy story kind of thing that goes to it so i think that's how that boobies ties are up. part of it yeah you have to have a pair of tits but there are some pretty good tvs what did uh how many how many boobies uh, would you I'm get I'm going to give them a good five. Five? Those okay. are some nice ones. They yeah. were nice. Mm-hmm. They reminded, they're a little bit offset from each other, mm. which mm-hmm. reminded me of me. So I like that representation. I like that. Yeah. It's very yeah. hard to make cleavage on myself. My boobs are like way the fuck on the outside. I don't know what they were thinking when they grew how they did, but whatever. That's okay. <laughs> they're still beautiful. I got a beautiful sternum tattoo Every out of it. Every boob is booty, boobyful. Every bube is beautiful. And so then as they're getting a little bit even more uh, uh, titillated with each other, um, <laughs> she gets stabbed in the hand by one of the zombie torture zombies. Tink, tink. Bam. And yep. that's whenever we get this blood curdling scream from her. Kurt's freaking out, of course. Yeah. Um, he like pummels getting, the mom. They're, yeah. They're both getting attacked by these zombies at this point. But and they like. Dad comes up with that bear trap mm-hmm, thing. And just like throws Ooh. out on the back of Miss Jules and like pull. No, on. On both of them, actually. On, yeah, actually. But yeah. then Kurt somehow gets free. Gets off of it somehow. Yeah. And then they really get Use Jules. And get Jules. And then they like hold her down while they make him watch as they like saw her into Pisces. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. I was like, I don't know if she. She was, I, I was like, she's either gutted because I was imagining the mm-hmm. like imagery with the lamb and stuff earlier. Yeah. But then they bring her head. Mm-hmm. So I was like, they maybe. They cut her head off. Yeah. But they could have done everything, to be honest. Yeah. And, and so everything. she's dead because it's the way that at that point, um, what's his face? It cuts to uh, we're back inside mm-hmm. and uh, Marty. He's, yeah. They're saying, oh, well, at first it cuts back to the control people and they're oh, yeah. saying the little prayer after her death and then mm. they Willy Wonka that shit down to some sort of blood blank. That's right. They release the lever it reminded and like a me blood, of that. Of blood goes into the thing. Yeah, it fills mm-hmm. up that little image. Um, 
Mm. It reminds me of the golden egg situation in Willy Wonka with Baruka. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then also a little bit when you said with the pull the lever, it reminds mm-hmm. me of Emperor's New Groove. Pull the lever, crunk. Pull the lever, crunk. And so it releases blood and it goes into this like ritualistic, it's like also very blade. Keep ah. bringing blade. You know, the, the blade, the, the blood. The um, blood. But yes, then it cuts to Marty. Mm-hmm. He's reading in bed. Little Nemo. Mm-hmm. The little Nemo. <laughs> and then it's the way that that's whenever he starts hearing the disembodied voice, right? Mm-hmm. Again. It's telling him to go outside for a walk. He says, I'm going to go for a walk. And he's like trying to fight he's it. Like, what? Mm-hmm. He's like, what do you want? What does the voice want? <laughs> and then he goes, he stands up and he's uh, he hears it again. Yeah. And he says, I'm going to go for a walk. And he says, you think I'm a puppet, huh? I'm going to do a little puppet dance. Mm-hmm. And he's like, I'm my own boss. And then he goes, I'm going to go for a walk. I'm going to go for a walk. I was like, God damn it, Marty. I love it. They were so close. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And then you go right for it. Uh, But then, yes, then Holden and Dana are making out of the couch and fucking Marty passes and says, Oh, he's got a husband's bulge. He's got a husband's bulge. (laughs) So funny. Yeah. (laughs) The way that (laughs) Holden looks down as he adjusts it. Yeah. But I was like, oh. And so uh, there he's outside and he's. Taking a little piss, right? Yeah, he's commenting on how there's no stars. Yeah, that's right. He thinks it's weird. And we then can see creepy dead girl coming up from behind. Patience. But then uh, Kurt comes a smashing through, running into the love the way he like knocks her and fucking socks clothes her down. lines yeah. her. Yeah, he just <laughs> he turns around he's because like, he gets Marty, and then yeah. he's like, "Doomp!" Yeah, to this literally. girl, she does like a flip. <laughs> I loved it. And doll. <laughs> It She's on me, the ground. They I get was inside. laughing so much. I was too. They get inside, <laughs> and then it's the way that, um, of course, Dana and Holden are like, "What the fuck's going on?" Yeah. And he's like, "Jules is gone." She's and it's the way that in all movies, why do people say like people are gone? I'm like, you can just say there she's dead. dead. She was just gutted, murdered. She's dead. Like yeah. I feel like gone, that would, like gone. Where? That would give me the more of like what's happening. Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, she leave exactly. Where'd she go? I, I would. Like, I wouldn't go to you. Whenever Kitty died, I told a few people. Mm. I was like, Kitty's gone. And then one friend was like, what do you mean she's gone? Yeah. Like, did she run away? And I was like, oh, no, yeah, she's dead. Yeah. And then she was like, oh, fuck, I'm so sorry. I feel sometimes, but I was it's, like, sometimes uh, it's hard to say said, the actual words. But yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, well, every time that I'm like, ah, oh, she's dead, mm-hmm. everyone looks at me like, Caitlin. And I'm like, what the fuck mm-hmm. else am I supposed to do? <laughs> like, but yeah. In this situation, though, it's like I need a little bit more detail. Yeah. Life's at stake kind L- of situation. Life, literally. Yes, exactly. Um, and so. And then fucking Dana's like dumb bitch. Like, I'm not leaving here without jewels. And then the door is like getting banged on and then she opens it and it's one of the torture zombies and he's yeah, got. the dad, he's so nice. He mm-hmm. gives her back Jules' head. Yeah, right in her hands. He's like, yeah, okay, well, you don't. You, now you can leave with her. And just she, her way, head, she though. just throws her head like across the floor <laughs> and like the bounce of the head. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> literally. Yeah. And so then they're trying to close the door, get them back out, whatever, and they do. And so then they're trying to figure out like what to do and they come up with a plan to stick together, but then like the puppeteer the orchestrators, the puppeteers. They're like, Oh no, we can't, we have, can't that. have them sticking together. So they that's spray more smart. juice into the air, mm-hmm. little mist vapor. Drug them up. And that's whenever Mr. Thor is like um no yeah, let's split, split up. up cover more ground so always the wrong idea yeah very much so and that's the way they they go to their rooms right yes everybody go to your own rooms because yeah the dad like starts breaking through the door that's right yeah and marty <laughs> marty even then whenever was like no yeah because we shouldn't do this hold him was like yeah yeah okay good and yeah. marty was like no are we for real we just decided like, that we should stay together yeah no yeah. we shouldn't do this he's questioning it once again but yes now they they all run to their rooms because he's breaking down the door and then they lock him in yeah and marty's freaking out he's in the like up against this window and he's trying to close it but as he turns around he knocks the lamp over yeah and finds what does he find a, ca- a, ca- a camera <laughs> he fucking finds the camera <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, I'm feeling the mimosa now. You're right. <laughs> he does find the camera. <laughs> the way you set me up for that one. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. What does he find? I don't know. Remind me. It's the camera. Yes, he finds a fucking camera, and that's when he's all like, oh, my God, these fuckers. We really are being puppeteers. Being <laughs> as yeah. he says, he says, I'm on a reality TV show. Mm-hmm. And then I, I do kind of hate the line that he has. My parents are think going to think I'm such a whatever he says, yeah, yeah, yeah. like a deadbeat or something. And then he gets Judah comes through, through the, the window. window. Mm-hmm. And I was like, damn it. Judah? Yeah, I think that was his name. From what? 
the the zombie. Oh, the zombie. Because the they were. <laughs> <laughs> no okay no i get it now you were talking about the zombie's name yeah. i get it okay no yeah. i just like as like an adverb like an adjective like he got judah out the window like what <laughs> like what am i missing yeah because okay. they were gonna pump mm-hmm. more drugs into mm-hmm. the air to make mm-hmm. him not like get the fact that there's a camera there and then they're like judah to the rescue yeah or something like judah buckner i think is what they said you're right but um <laughs> yeah he he gets breaks him through the window and uh, I love the the like almost heroic music that happens as he extends his bong. Yes, because <laughs> Marty was quick <clears throat> and he grabbed it. Yeah. as he was being pulled out, and so then he almost like, Freddy Krueger style. Yeah, extends the bong and then he smacks him, but it doesn't too so much because no, no. he's a yeah. it's a bong versus a zombie, an undead, alive, whatever type of unalive zombie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so then he gets stabbed. And yeah, and that's uh, the way we feel, and we think that he is dead because we point. see the blood being drained mm-hmm. to fill the but little at, picture thing. But at this point, the there's an earthquake uh-huh. and it starts shaking, and they're like, "That's different." And yeah, so at that point, I the first time I watched it, I was just like, "Oh, weird, an earthquake." I honestly don't even remember that. Yeah. But then, as I was going back, I was like, "Oh, the rumbling was probably the, the gods, gods being knowing, like, like that he's wasn't, not dead. Yeah, that wasn't real. Yeah, yeah." And so. Of course, at this point now, they're all of the zombies are enclosing mm-hmm. and, and like coming at the house and stuff. And so then Dana is scared in her own room, but thankfully, That's right. the interrogation um, mirror. Yeah, it comes in handy a little bit because what's his face? Um, Holden. the hole through it as he comes into her room because mm-hmm. the zombies are trying to get into her room. She goes into his room. And then at that point, Kurt comes in, right? At some point. Well, yeah. Huh? So then they find that there is a little latch oh. that goes down into the floor. And That's they right. put the whole like lamp in there. And she's like, it's clear. And I was like, bitch, you just put the lamp in there and looked at the That's immediate it. surroundings. Yeah. You need to like put your head in and swivel it around. Mm-hmm. But then I guess also. But I mean. But your head is then exposed. And, yeah. Like, uh, but know. then putting your whole body into it but is also. But then also I've never been in a situation where I'm getting chased by zombies and I'm in a cabin and like shit. True. So I don't know. So I don't know how I'd act. And so yeah, they go down there and they realize that that's this cellar, the black cellar, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Basement, whatever. It is the black room. From uh, the diary that mm-hmm. they read earlier. The way that she is, this is also like very, I mean, I guess 2009 was probably, no, that was more 2010 that this came out but the that whole scene paramore's song ignorance the music oh, video yeah, for yeah. it is all done with like a I lamp know, yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. just like right in the face mm-hmm. and they're holding like these lamps from the ceiling and of course Haley has her iconic red hair does she in that yeah Probably. i think right after she that always, for brick by boring blonde. brick she went blonde mm-hmm. but then yes yeah, so it, the whole that kind of scene reminded me of ignorance yeah. that was all i could think of so i love it <laughs> i had to make that note but um anyways yeah, so then they're down there, and Kurt's, like, saying, let me into the room, let me into the room, and he's yeah. like, I fucking can't. So Holden gets down there, but then daddy comes in mm-hmm. and gets Holden with this bear trap thing. Ouch. So many times with that bear trap. Mm-hmm. And I then just put, ow, fuck. It's the way that she then uses... What, she says knife? you like pain and then stabs him with the the crowbar yeah, it's like mm. a, yeah through his eye the first time and yeah. then she just goes ding 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 a and few more times way, in this movie they everything's really a lot of things are practical effects mm-hmm. um, so it looked really real it really did cool. it was good I was like they get it in there. it's fucking creepy and then um he doesn't die, and so she just starts stabbing him and stabbing him repeatedly with a knife mm-hmm. um, and then uh, Kurt smashes through right yes. at some point after that or do they open the door? Yes. Yeah. If they do, they start escaping mm-hmm. and then it then it just pans back to Japan. Mm-hmm. And essentially, yeah, essentially all the <laughs> little school girls have defeated Kiko uh-huh. spirit and put it into a frog and they said, Kiko spirit will now live in this happy frog and they all the go, The evil Yay! is defeated. The evil is defeated. I love it. <laughs> um, and I was like They're like, fuck. So it's really up to them now. Yep. The it is. It's basically yeah. up to them now to because everyone um because they're trying to sacrifice every every country there's they have their own way that they can do this ritual or whatever and they're all trying to perform but they all are trying to do it with the same goal of like pleasing the gods mm-hmm. so that way i guess for another year we stay alive and I at guess. least one person has to succeed, succeed. yeah otherwise one, one the world will end mm-hmm. one location yeah. and typically mm-hmm. japan and u.s are the two that mm-hmm. are the most successful that bring it out it seems like 
um, because, well, Japan more so. Japan mm-hmm. being number one and U.S. was number two, mm-hmm. they said. And then so they were like, I miss fucking, that. Yeah, at one point they said, well, we're right behind Japan. Like, they've got a perfect success rate, mm. basically. And then they failed this time. And so um, it was just, it was meant to, yeah, meant to meant end. To but um, <clears throat> yeah, so then we have them escaping and they get to the RV, right? Mm-hmm. And they start leaving. And that's the way that they're about to leave almost. And they get all the way to like the tunnel. And then like that's whenever the people in the... Well, what are they, the headquarters are freaking out because they're like, why haven't we blown the out the tunnel yet? Hasn't yeah. caved in, and so they're almost escaping when they finally get the tunnel blown up. Yeah, um, and they said that there's been does. some sort of get glitch. Like yeah. we never and got the command. You, that's why you thought Truman thought would have done. Yeah, it. I thought mm-hmm. someone was sabotaging it because I just true. played someone sabotaging it. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know. Maybe you have to watch it again, and maybe someone was. No, I, I do think it was Marty because oh, then okay. it later on it says. This is con- he oh. says it has some controls to some like uh, that's right mm-hmm. electrical control panels and mm-hmm. stuff and mm-hmm. he says I don't know what all of them do but clearly it's affecting something that's right he says but this one brings the elevator up and then he goes there's no controls in there but I can send it down yeah and so at that I, I do think it was Marty You're just right. he You're was right. tinkering around and yeah. fucked fucked it up and so it's the way that whenever they're there and they obviously can't go through the through the tunnel they come up with the idea of using the motorcycle to get across the the thing it's a way i completely forgot about that, the bird oh, did? thing yeah uh-huh. so i was just like okay okay is he gonna make it mm-hmm. no <laughs> no and then kurt yeah and oh so kurt God. attempts to get over the thing and it's the way they're planning it they like he's like you need this much space. yeah make- he has make them pay for jewels. Spiel. Why the fuck does Dana have to kiss him? Oh, yeah, it's weird. I was like, what the fuck? And so uh, he goes over, and it's the way he almost gets there, but then hits that wall that we saw it's earlier. The barrier. the barrier. And it's the way that his body just looks like every ding, fucking other ding. panel <laughs> all the way down, and you just hear his body going down, down. It's very funny. I, I, I just put, oh, my God, I, I put LOL. I completely forgot about the fucking barrier, and then it's just like a whole line of, ha, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> And then he's laughing. falling down, and so then of course they're freaking out. And so but now then, Dana's being like, "Fucking Marty was right. Yeah, he was right." Mm-hmm. How that fucking hold? They hop back into the RV thing. They're in there for like a hot second, mm-hmm. and then Holden gets fucking yeeted through the fucking. Neck. It's the way that he's saying we gotta. He was gonna say we have to stick. Like you're all I have left now. Mm-hmm. We gotta stick together. But and he, he gets right impelled. as he says the word stick. Yeah, homeboy gets stuck. Right through the neck, so he's dead. Mm-hmm. Uh, because uh, was it Zaddy? Was it Zaddy? Uh, it was. I think it was one of the sons. Uh, and so uh, one of the zombies was on the RV, and so then it just crashes off of veers off of the side of the mountain cliff, whatever it is, and into the lake, the mm-hmm. water. And she's down there, and she comes up, and then finally, um, we got a good deep water shot. Mm-hmm. Loved it. And she gets out and she's like swimming and it's they're basically celebrating already, feeling like they've already won We've, and accomplished their goal because they think they've killed everyone. Um, and Truman's like, well, why? She's still alive. Doesn't she have to die? And it's the way that they're like, no, she doesn't have to die. The final girl can survive. She just has to suffer. Yeah. Virgin's death is optional as mm-hmm. long as it's last and she, and she yeah, has to suffer. suffer. And so they're celebrating popping champagne. It's like a typical office party where you mm-hmm. get like all this really funny interaction and like conversation between the And at employees. one point Hadley was being like, Ugh. I almost feel like sorry, like I'm kind of rooting for her. Yes, this and then part. and then He's he sees like tequila is te- my lady. <laughs> tequila is my lady. I love it. And he like he was getting so deep for a second, and then he was like, "Psych, mm-hmm. tequila." <laughs> And then uh, they're all doing their thing, but then that red phone starts going off, mm-hmm. and that's when it's like, uh oh, something's up because both Citizen and Hadley they're literally parting too, as like she's getting tossed around because yeah. you think oh, yeah. she's you safe for a second, the, you see her but in the then back Daddy screen. comes mm-hmm. and she's getting fucked up and on yeah, the dock. and they're just like partying. It's like all happy go lucky, mm-hmm. and you just see Dana getting yeah, Molly tossed <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, then the red phone, and then we um have then the phone ringing and so then it's like uh oh a red so, phone's never good uh, nope and so it's it's like the red phone from the powerpuff girls yeah that's what i was thinking and so was like, they go and answer trouble. it and obviously someone's still alive mm-hmm. and it's marty because he comes back and he uses his tump his long bong bong. to um keep the uh, daddy zombie from killing dana and then they, the get, they get him into the water yeah yeah eventually and so then they bong bong to the rescue. run away from that area and he takes her back to the grave where he was hiding mm-hmm. where he got taken to and shows her that control room that you were just talking about how like well i've been messing with this and all these wires yeah um, and he says because uh, she looks at the pile of zombie, zombie. Yeah, in the yeah, corner yeah. and he goes had to dismember that guy with the trowel what have you been up to yeah 
<laughs> the way he, that he like casually <laughs> delivers that line, and then but of course he's like he's deflect he's trying to not focus mm-hmm. on the fact that literally everyone's fucking dead yeah. at this point because then she, Dana just kind of shakes her head and he's like every okay I yep. figured. Um, but yeah, he's showing her the elevator saying mm-hmm. that somebody literally sent these fuckers up to us. They sent them to us. And, and so he's like, let's, we can take it down there. And mm-hmm. it's the way that it's kind of like, she's like, should we should go we down? down? He's like, well, where else are we going? Yeah. Where yeah. the fuck, well, what are our other options at yeah. this point? Cause we can't escape. Yeah. As so clearly we've been shown. It's like as above, so below, you have to go down to go up mm-hmm. and go out. Oh. Dante's Inferno. Love. Mm-hmm. But anyways, yes. Yeah, so they're going down. And um, first we get the werewolf. Yep. That's the first little stop on our tour. Yeah, because they go into this like, and elevator area where it's kind of like a Rubik's Cube of all these different monsters. Mm-hmm. And they see the werewolf. The and the then ghosty. They see the ghost. Which and they I see... thought was maybe attached to like the wedding dress and the necklace. Mm, because it know. does kind of go and order because then we get the demogorgon ballet dancer looking thing. Mm-hmm. And, then and then we get Hellraiser. Rubik's Cube, Walmart pinhead. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, yeah, then da- that that's where Dana catches on. Like they made us choose. Mm-hmm. They made us choose how we die. Which From is all the objects that were down in the fucked. basement. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, and then it, so she's just fucking losing her yep. shit mm-hmm. at Walmart pinhead and is just like, Whoa. very mad as anybody would be. She's yeah. Very pissed off. And it pans out and we see that they are quite literally in, They're, well, like a stable. Yeah. Holding um, room. And then if you pan out, you see all of these monsters and Giant all the snakes, different holding air rooms. The shining twins. Yeah. Who else? Like an evil dead tree. Um, there were some like there, drill zombie. Or a, a big like, anaconda like, snake. Yeah, that's yes. Scary. That's the one that scared me like the most. Killer people, like regular people in masks. Like, Reminded me of the strangers. Yeah. Kind of version of that. There were so many monsters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's where we then figure out. Um, I Oh, I did put I low key would have almost been happy if it ended there. Oh, like, yeah. Just panning, just out, panning just, out. And we're just left with like they're stuck there in that thing. What mm-hmm. happens? Yeah, yeah. 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 I was like. They could have. I could have. Really I could've. could have left with that. But then the rest is so important to actually explaining the film. What's happened? Because otherwise, time, you wouldn't yeah. know. Um, Which is basically the last like twenty something ish minutes of the film. It's yeah. really not that long when it's like climax time. No, it's very fast. And so they are yeah, stuck this is in the exactly elevator. When but I then, stopped paying attention. And that's whenever the um uh they start getting told like stop fucking around with the system because like can y'all just like die so that way you know we need this ritual to happen so that way the world can survive. Or yeah, something Marty like that. has to die. Yeah. First, ba- oh, and they're basically saying like it go kill them like go stop yeah. them and whatever you do just so kill marty team. first mm-hmm. because he has to die first and um and this is where we also figure out that whatever marty has been smoking has immunized him to mm-hmm. all the things they've been doing yeah, basically yeah. that girl scientist tells him and so um they are still in the elevator they're getting they got off and then that's whenever zombie they realize, arm helps them escape mm-hmm. that's right that's <laughs> Marty right. goes, good work zombie arm <laughs> and then they go into that room the control room that's across from all the elevators and that's whenever all the security team comes into the and someone comes uh, over the loudspeakers and room. says mm-hmm. like what's happening to you is something bigger and older mm-hmm. and nothing compared to what lies below yeah so it's our task to placate the ancient ones and it is your task to be offered up to them and they say we're sorry but like you have to die Mm -hmm. basically which is some bullshit yeah and um so then yeah they're going through and then they all those people are in the elevator waiting room thing Mm -hmm. and dana basically says like well she literally says let's get this party started yeah Boom. Boom. Presses red the button. Because the button says purge. Mm-hmm. And it releases all the monsters. And then it's, uh, oh. they just start attacking all of the it security team. It is just team. like. Mm-hmm. Bloodshed. Carnage. It's fucking it's insane. Chaos. Yes. Chaos. And I love. screens. I love the. Um, as the people were like waiting there with the guns and stuff. They put. I love the little. Oh shit. Right before the elevator dings. And yeah. then it's just. Boom. Yeah. They all come out. Oh, and then round two comes up. Like, they're just, so they it's think, like, yeah. oh, that we finished, like, maybe this one. But then round two comes, and all these other motherfuckers It's the way the elevators form. keep opening up. Mm-hmm. There's just so many monsters, and they get released. And so they move on from the security team, and they start killing all of the, like, employees that yep. work there. And so just basically pandemonium, all hell breaks oh, That's where the mass people show up. Mm-hmm. That remind me of the strangers. And Truman, at this point, is saying, like, we've got a code black, code black. And then their power goes down. Yeah. Um, and then it cuts to other things like there's a creepy clown that basically got shot like six mm-hmm. times. He wasn't going down. We just see all these murders happening. I love the Pegasus the stabbing too. That was really I cool. Was like, yeah. That's badass. Yeah. 
Um, and then, uh, but oh, uh, Patience made it down there too. Mm-hmm. She made it to the show. She ended up showing up last. Um, um, but then, yeah, then we go back to the our main control people, mm-hmm. and Truman's getting ripped apart by some zombies, and he conveniently blows himself blows up. up. And then, it sh- and it sends Hadley all the way across the room, and then as he's like in his stupor, like kind of like, whoa, what's happening? From the explosion, uh, gets uh, confronted by the merman. Finally, yeah, he goes, "Oh, come on!" He just gets attacked <laughs> in the most glorious. He just, got what he wanted. Mm-hmm. He got the merman. And the blood coming out of the blowhole in the mm-hmm. back is pretty awesome. I was like, "Hell yeah!" And that that's was all fun. practical effects too. That's so good. Mm-hmm. I loved it. And then um, after that, that's whenever you pan back to uh, we're with Dana, right, mm-hmm. and Marty, and they're in the little control room that they're in, and then they, there's this like what bat. Hell yeah, like fire thing some that sort of like, like zom- or what's it called Dracula mm-hmm. like vampire mm-hmm. breaks um, through and is like then it's like forces them to have to leave where they're at and now they're in the midst of all the chaos and they're running they find they escape through that hole yeah in the wall. and then that's when what's his name Citizen it's such well, a because weird right word. before that I know name. so right before <laughs> Citizen goes down there and we know that they're down there but uh, he's trying to escape and it's the way that I forget the girl name scientist oh but yeah she gets like snatched up by the tentacle arm yeah. and then like he goes down and then as he's running through there and this like kind of old style like Indiana tomb kind of vibes like gets stabbed mm-hmm. by Dana and it gets, I guess it's pretty fatal because he dies pretty fast. But yeah. she, he just tells her to, like, please kill him. Yeah. he's um, uh, And then Marty goes, here, you'll feel more comfortable with this and hands her the gun. And I was like, yeah. Ooh, maybe you shouldn't have given her the gun, Literally. Marty. Um, um, and so they work their way all the way down through the bottom of this. And they end up being going into this, like, very bottom pit where they start seeing. Some room where the, they fill all the blood up. The ruins of, like, you know, the stones that have the pictures of the. What we've been seeing throughout the whole movie. Yes. It's illustrations of the whore, the scholar, all that stuff. Thank you. And Uh. so they're down there. And finally, we get an explanation from bum, ba, da, bum, no one other than Sigourney Weaver. Sigourney Weaver. Because they were, up. Dana's saying, they want to see us punished, but mm-hmm. they're like, why us? And then she goes, well, it's always required youth, mm-hmm. says Sigourney Weaver. And she goes, first, we have the whore. He must die first. Then the athlete. Mm-hmm. The scholar, the fool, and lastly, the virgin, to live or die, yeah. whatever fate decides. Um, and then that was where she said, well, we work with what we have. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what do they mean? And then this is where I was like, did the teacher do something without consent? My brain just immediately went there. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And then so we have them going through this whole thing, and she's trying to explain to them what's happening and how she Dana needs to kill Marty in order for the rest of the world to survive. And then that's when we see Dana kind of like really considering this for a whole moment. Yeah, uh, she because she says we're talking about the agonizing death of every soul on this planet. Yeah. Or <clears throat> just you two can die. Yeah. Or really just, just Marty, Marty at this point. But granted, the director says would you never can die let with her. them or you can die for them. Yeah. And then Q Donna holding Dana. Holding and the so then she's about to shoot him, but she gets attacked by the werewolf. Mm-hmm. And then um, oh. that whole mess starts happening. She's getting attacked by the werewolf. And then a whole fight starts between Sigourney and Marty. Mm hmm. As he's trying to get away from her because she's trying to kill him with the gun. Yeah. And then once her patience name, little patience her way comes down, all the way, all the way down. She and comes she set the record straight. Comes right as Sigourney is about to shoot Marty in the in the head. She hits her in the back of the head mm-hmm. with an axe and kills her. And then like Marty just pushes them. He off. kicks them both over the wow, ledge. They ain't coming back from that. And then we get. <clears throat> Both we get Marty and Dana. Dana has then because thankfully Marty shoots the werewolf yeah. off of her. He has a he although he allowed her to get attacked by the werewolf. He mm-hmm. then was like, "Fuck! Like I can't do this to my friend," even though she was about to shoot me in the head. Yeah, <laughs> and he shoots the werewolf off. So then we get a bleeding out Dana, and a very also injured as well mm-hmm. Marty. And they're sitting there, and that's where they say, like, I don't even think Kurt has a cousin. cousin. Yeah, Um, for sure. And they smoke the little joint he has. Yeah. She's basically awaiting the end of the world happening. Yeah. She's like, I'm so sorry I almost shot you. And she goes, I probably wouldn't have. (laughs) (laughs) And he was like, I'm sorry I let you get attacked by a werewolf and then ended the world. And then, yeah, I put, what a a way to go out just smoking a fat blunt as the world literally collapses around you. And and then he says, giant evil gods, like, I wish we could have seen them. He said, that would have been a fun weekend. And then it just going to see them soon. Well, yeah. Yeah. The earth starts crumbling and then we get a giant hand, hand just popping through and just <laughs> slams down. On and the that's dirt. the yeah. end of the movie. Like a titty. Like, mm-hmm. a, like a titty. Mm-hmm. Or like an ass cheek. Mm-hmm. Get you a handful of booty cheeks. Just grasping it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then we have the movie ending. 
So I really enjoyed the movie. I really liked it. Even Boot talking ties. about it now, I really like it. Um, yeah, talking about it makes me like it's it really more. fun. Yeah, I don't know. It's a fun movie. It is because it's like it's just fun. It's not like a classic horror movie, but you still get the same elements of like the gore and mm-hmm. like all the things that you do like of you a get horror slasher, movie. You get a little bit comedy, of comedy, like all comedy, of it. Yeah, you get all of it. It's good. I would give the Cabin in the Woods a solid four. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Any particular well, Four because booze. of everything you just said. Just everything, like its own like commentary on itself. It's a little meta. It's like very much like it's very smart. It's very thoughtful. It's very provocative. It's very like he- like not heavy on the nail or whatever on like nail on the head. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But like just enough to like give me some um innuendos, some mm-hmm. nuance, some like very well crafted like not jokes, but just like the irony yeah. of it all. Like it's just really good. Yeah, it is. So I think good. it's well thought out, um, and it's a fun. It's a fun ride. There's just a lot that goes on, and it's it's really exciting. Um, so yeah, for that reason, I would give it a solid four boos. Um, and I would watch it again, and I recommend it to all of our boo bays out there because I think it's like even for people who don't like horror movies, like I think. Because of the lightheartedness of it, for the most part, I think with that the it's com- a very comedic interjections. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it leans more to like just you having a good time watching it. Yes, I agree. Um, do you have a boo rating for it? I do, possibly? and then I have some some notes from some people. notes from other people. Um, I I think yes. I, I think yes. I think I yes. That. I'm trying to like I'm in between like a three point five and a four. Mm-hmm. So maybe three point seven five. Find your words. Find your words. Three point seven five. Three point seven five. Um I really did enjoy it quite a bit. Yeah. I I will say it did take me watching it not only because of the ending, but like I think I really fully appreciated the film more watching it again a second time. So mm-hmm. I feel like this is not a film you can just like it's not a one and done. Yeah. Like if you want to get the full aspects the from gist. it. Much like Get Out and everything, too. There, There's so many mm-hmm. little subtleties that if you watch it multiple times, I feel like you can really actually come to terms with it and see all the... Is that your beard on the... Okay, I was like, what the fuck is yeah, that Yeah, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, I feel like you can act like get the full appreciation for the film. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, because there are so many things that they like inter- that they intertwine throughout the whole movie that you're like, oh, ah, uh-huh. mm-hmm. I didn't see that. Yeah, there's... Uh, little things you notice each time Mm -hmm. um so i do have some other ratings so this is from a listener named derek and uh this is it is his favorite film so Mm -hmm. he (laughs) i i said give me the spiel like why is it your favorite and then i said and a boo rating and he put oh clearly a five Mm -hmm. (laughs) and he said so he he likes the old monster movies and they half like and they kind of get like the half all the different types of creatures and ways mm-hmm. that the teens can die. Like they really cover mm-hmm. kind of all of that. Yeah. And so he really appreciated that. And then he said, then they do it again with basically this giant god destroying the planet and stuff. And he said, it's a bit cheesy, but I love cryptids and myths. And to see so many of them, even for a short period of time, because yeah, really mm-hmm. when you see all the monsters, it is right at the end. Of it's the literally just climax, like a yeah. split second. Or he said. like through the elevator scene. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, um, he put it's just awesome to see Aww. all of that yeah so for sure it, I it, love his experience. for that reason it is his favorite um mm. mike the god also said that he really loved this film and he gave it a 3.5 because mm. of all the cartoony he said it felt very oh, yeah, that's right yeah like scooby-doo kind of it yeah. was and it was so different like you said at the beginning it being its own like there's no. not really any horror films out there like, like it. it. It's yeah. in its own kind of niche little it is. subset. Oh, um, do I want to give it a four? Maybe I do. Robert gave it a four. Four. Or no, three point five, I think. Three point five. But he really enjoys it too and likes it. Good. Yeah, Was it really had he seen it, he's before? Seen it before? Okay. Yeah. He's he it's, it's the way that he'd seen it so many times. He really likes it that like he was oh. as we were watching it, he was like reciting lines. Oh my god. Like, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Love that. <laughs> so he really likes it. Then he had to have gone a four, not three point five. I think it was a three point five. And oh my god no he was a four he was okay. a four you're he right a four. i think i initially at like the when we watched it on friday was like uh 3.5 for me but yeah that's what i was feeling but, but now now that we've talked about it and everything again four mm-hmm. i say four mm-hmm. okay yes four you heard it here first four from we've got a few other sprinklings in there but four from the important that's, ones that's together, that yeah. is us 
I feel like that's a <laughs> solid rating. It is, yeah. So um, that's yeah. a four from your boo bays for Cabin 2012, in filmed in 2009. Yeah. Cabin in the Woods. Mm-hmm. Um, but as always, we are in the lovely Rogue Media Network studios. This yep. was a little bit of a long one today. It was just a little um, bit. Jeffrey's here taking care of us as we Thank get Jeffrey. hammered on mimosas. Um, he's and like, uh, I'm asleep. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> And uh, thank you, yeah, to, to you, <laughs> my fellow Bube. <laughs> for bringing these warm-ups. Literally. <laughs> um, it's been a day. It um, has. But you can listen to us and along with all the other Rogue Media Network podcasts on multiple streaming platforms. Such as? Uh-huh. Uh, s- App- Apple Podcasts. Apple. <laughs> and also <laughs> Spotify. And, and then you can also find us on Rogue Media. Yeah, network.com. That's right. Yes. Uh-huh. And, and then, as Giant always, home. just make sure to check out all the other podcasts as well because there's so many out there. There is. You never know. You might find a podcast that you didn't even know you'd love. Yeah, that exactly. That you need in your life. That you need, like, like I said, King right of the now. Hill podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, but don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe wherever you do listen. Please do. It's the only way we can get ahead in life. We're like Tinkerbell. We need your claps to survive. That's right. Thank you. I just thought of an ass clapping, but Mm. that too. Um, Like Patrick. Yes. (laughs) Um, But yeah. um, And what else is there? Um, You can find us on exactly one social media platform being. At Boo Bay's podcast. That's right. And it's on Instagram. It's on Instagram. (laughs) And it is. That is at. B-O-O-O. B-O-O. B-A-A. At B O O B A E S, and that's just boo bays, not boo babes, because we're your boo bays, not your boo babes. That's and right. I promise these mimosas are not hitting that hard. I'm just, I mean, between the two of us, we killed oh a bottle of goodness. champagne. So, <laughs> uh, but um, yes, on that note, I think it is time to uh, over hang and out. The hat. Yeah, goodbye, bays. Bye, bays. <laughs>